Okay, here we are back, uh, and let's see. We're going to talk about matching and how to get tangency uh, in uh, your uh, curve. So I have two curves out here. So the first thing I want to do is check the what they are, continuity, right? So I'm going to type in G-con, G-C-O-N, and then hit Enter. And it tells me to select the first curve. That'll be this yellow one here. I'll select the second curve. That'll be the red one. And it gives me a lot of information. I expanded my command line to uh, show this information. Uh, so uh, command G con, first curve, second curve. And right now, uh, curve end difference is 0 0.033. So that's a real quick way to make sure that your curves are joined, right? So you want G0 continuity, right? Uh, position continuity at least uh, and then it'll give you a radius curvature and other information uh, but you can see that uh, yeah uh, curve ends are not in tolerance not of tolerance so we need to make them joined right the easiest way to do it or there's tons of ways to do it really uh, but if you turn on your points you can just select a point and if you have your uh, O snaps on and your point snap you can just basically drag that there right and do that you can also type in uh, move uh, and then click on the one you want to move and then uh, hit enter and then move it uh, move it to there right or you can just go to your uh, edit tools match and it'll match them right and if you noticed uh i selected this curve right and then this curve so this was the first curve i selected and then this was the second curve selected so if you're not wanting to mess with this curve for some reason you just want to move the one to it or this one to that one whichever one you select first will move if you do not have average curves on right if you click on that it'll take the average distance between the two and move them to to put them together right so on off we'll move the one on we'll move both of them to the average all right uh, i don't really care which one it is right now so we'll just go ahead and uh, uh, take that well let's uh, let's cancel uh, and let's hit match again and we'll click these two right now it's at position if you go to change it to tangency it'll just take the one and make it tangent which it will take this point and drag it right up here so that these three points let's go ahead and hit okay are lined up right so if i can if i take a curve i can go one two three it goes right through those three curves because tangency like i said before in the earlier videos will affect the one point next to it the points that they're at plus one right uh, so let's go back all right and let's go match again oh, i'll right click on my command line and click on match bring back recent commands and hit that and now if i do average both they both will move right so that's uh, kind of important to know because sometimes you don't want one curve to move you want the other one to join match to the one right uh so tangency and then you can also do curvature and again if you have the average now this one is just taking this one curve that i selected first and making it uh, curvature continuity there right uh so that's kind of the difference there so you need to know those we're going to leave it at position because we're going to show some uh, different ways and we'll just go ahead and hit average it doesn't really matter for this demonstration and hit enter okay so that's one way and one very quick way to uh, get tangency and uh, curvature continuity uh, on uh, both of them right but if you're like me a lot of people argue you don't need to know this but uh i kind of like to know all the little small things because you never know when they're going to come in handy uh so we're going to match tangency just using points and uh, rotate and some other commands right so we're going to dig a little deeper here okay so i want to match tangency between these two curves right so the first thing i'm going to do the first one is going to be with the rotate command so I'm going to select this point here. I'm going to go to my transform, uh, click on rotate. 
and then I'm going to put my center of rotation with the two points where they're shared, right? Doesn't matter which line lights up, just as long as it's on that point, and then hit enter. Now I'm going to go back to the point that I selected originally from the second point. It doesn't matter either side, but you need to go back to the point you originally selected, which was this one for me, and then hit enter. Now I'm going to go over, I'm going to hover over it, but I am not going to click, click on it. I'm going to hit tab. All right, now I'm in constraints, right? It's constrained, right? And what I'm going to do is go back to that original point, that uh, the very first one I picked, and click on it and hit enter, right? And now if I go to my G-Con, right-click on my command line, bring back recent commands, and go to G-Con and s check these out, I'm at G1. So I have tangency curvature, curvature, uh, tangency curvature. It's a G G1 now right so that's one way to get uh tangency right is to use the rotate with points command so let me back out of this one and i'll do it again one more time just to show you make sure because this one's a little complicated but once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy really so i'm going to select the one on the opposite side this time and i'm going to go to rotate and i'm going to click on both of those dots or where they're joined together not joined but uh, they come together and then i'm going to go back to my original and then i'm going to hover over the uh, opposite side of the second one and hit tab and that gives me all my constraints and i'll come back to that point where i was at and then hit enter right so now i have curvature con or tangency continuity and if i go to gcon you can see it's changed to a g1 curve right so uh, that's that's one way to do it right there now the next two ways i'm going to show uh which are good to know because you never know when they come in handy right uh, in my opinion uh so is along and between okay in order to do along and between between you'll probably want to uh, set this up so what you need to do is you need to go to options type in options uh, get your rhino options and then go to uh, aliases aliases right and you'll need to add an a you know what you can do is a new click on new type a in the alias and then command macro will be underscore along all right so you need to set up this one so in uh in your aliases you'll need to hit new a for alias and then underscore along and then uh, just hit uh, okay and then you'll need to come back and then set up the second alias uh, which will be b underscore between uh, new un b underscore between right so if i type in new and i can just hit a uh, there and then I come over here and hit along right so I'm going to cancel that out uh, and I'll bring that back up real quick just so we can go back make sure everybody's uh, got it uh, so a alias underscore along b alias underscore between and then you get those two curves uh, those two commit aliases in there and now we're going to use those right so what we're going to do is the first what we're going to do is type in move so type in move in the command line and hit enter and then i'm going to select these two points right here and then hit enter from there right and now i'm going to click right back on those two points and then a uh, type uh let's see which one first let's do uh b first we'll hit so i'm going to hit b for between right and then hit enter Okay, and now I'm going to cover, cover, hover over my cur second point on one of my lines, and then I'm going to go back to my second point on the other line and hit enter. And now if I check uh, my uh, continuity with GCon, I have curvature one continuity, right? Now you can really do this uh, with you don't have to go back to that second point it's it's really kind of up to you so if i type in move select those two points where they're joined at and hit enter and then i just click right there on the move and then i go ahead and hit uh what was it Did I, b first uh b now i can click there 
Well, hold on. Okay, move. And then uh, points here, enter. And then right here, and then come over here, type in B, and then come back over here. Oh, I have to hit enter, that's right. Hit enter, first point here. And then now I can really just kind of move it along, however. But if you click on this point here, you can get continuity and if i go right click on my command line bring back recent commands go to gcon and check it boom i'm at g1 so that's one way of doing it right so let's go back now we'll do a uh so let's go ahead and it's this, kind of the same thing you'll hit move and then you'll select those two points hit enter and select those two points again and this time you'll hit a and then our second point here. Well, wait a minute. Back. All right. Um, do that again, one quick, real quick. Move these points here. Enter here. Oh, I didn't hit uh, enter. I have to hit enter for it to hit A along. Oh, here, here. And now I'm able to move it where it will maintain curvature along those two lines. So you can basically pick where you want it, right? Which is a little bit different. You want a more cur curvature uh, tangent on this side or this side or in the middle or whatever. Uh, and then if you go to GCon and check, you have G1 continuity. So we'll do this one more time real quick. All right, I gotta remember, you always have to remember, I always forget, you, after you hit A or B, you gotta hit enter. Uh, so first thing you do, move, uh, enter, select those two, enter, point snap, then go to A, enter, this will be the first point tracking, this will be the second point tracking, and now I can move those along those and maintain uh, tangency. Right, so if I go back to my G-Con again and check here and here, I have G1 continuity. Uh, so those are three different ways. Of course, match is the easiest, but maybe sometimes you want more control. And really, how do I know I have tangency again? Last, real quick, if I draw a line from here over to here, those three lines are all lined up, right? Uh, that's really a, a quick way to... Uh, tell. Uh, so I hope that helps. Uh, just three different ways you can uh, get tangency in, in uh, or it matches probably the easiest, of course, but uh, sometimes it affects the points a little bit, maybe more than what you want. So you want to get more control in there. So between and along are also good ones. So uh, hope that helps. Good designing. Thanks for watching.